Hi there YouTube. Okay, this is a video um, showing you the basics, getting set up, um, flying in GPS mode and um, basic flight instructions and everything for the DJI Phantom FC40 quadcopter. Okay, so when you get the quadcopter, you get the um, quadcopter like this. You've got the battery there and um, also the remote control which takes four AA batteries like that. Okay. So, very important thing, you want to um, get this set in GPS mode to, um, before you start flying it and that way makes everything safe. So, what we're going to do, the battery goes into the back here as you can see. So, the important thing is, get your DJI FC40, you want to get it on a flat surface and um, first of all you switch the remote control on so um, just put this down here okay so here's the um, standard remote control very similar to um, most RC quadcopters you've got the um, throttle on the left up down and uh, obviously spinning around like that um, and this is your direction so you've got forwards backwards, left and right. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is turn the remote control on. You want all these, both these sticks on the top, up there like that. So um, switch it on. And I don't know if you heard the two beeps there, but that's set to the US settings. So um, that's a little bit more range on that. Okay, so I've um, got the quadcopter there. My partner's just filming this video at the moment and we've also got a dog so we're just hoping um, this Alsatian's going to be okay but he's okay, we've got ours on the lead Okay, so um, we switch the remote control on the next step is to um, connect the battery so let's put that down there and I'll go ahead and put the battery in She's just been a bit funny lately with some dog, so I uh, just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, so you can see now that the um, battery's been put in. If you turn it this way, you can see the indicator light there. Right, close to there, you can see the indicator light flashing there. What we want is um, a constant green setting. Now, what the quadcopter's doing now is it's just... Um, finding its location and acquiring satellites to uh, give you a good GPS lock. Now it's very important to get into GPS mode before you start flying um, because it, you've got your functions like return to home and um, it's also very stable so um, it keeps the quadcopter in a stable position. So um, as soon as that's all green flashing we're ready to go but what we're going to do after that is we're going to um, calibrate and, re and set the compass. This um, gives it a, a position, a home lock of where you are. So um, you can see that now, that's found the satellites. That's good to go. So what we're gonna do now, that's um, acquired the satellites, got um, its position and GPS mode ready to go. We've got the switch on the top there for GPS mode, flick to the top. And what we do now to get the um, compass set is, Okay, so you've got your ATI and GPS mode there. If you flick that up and down, if you get the um, quadcopter flashing and the remoting, have you got them both in there? You flick that up and down, and there you go, you can see a steady amber light. So then what you want to do is, with the quadcopter normal level position there, and you want to rotate it, Three hundred and sixty degrees like that. Then turn it nose down, so sort of like this. Okay, and now you can see it's got its um, lock there. So just leave it on there to get steady green, and that's ready to go. Okay, I'll just. Uh, right there. So um, you can also notice there's um, a camera. That comes with the um, DJI Phantom FC40. We're not going to be using that today, so it's very easy to um, detach there. So I'll just take this camera off. And there you go. I'll just have a quick look at the camera before we um, put this up into the sky to fly. 
Okay, so that's the camera that comes with it. These are like shock absorbers. Um, you know, they're such a bad job. Um, it's a 720 camera. SD card in there. And um, power on and off and record there. So there's the camera that comes with it. That comes with the case. That um, attaches on to your quadcopter just like so. Okay, so we've got the quadcopter now it's um in gps mode ready to go up so what you want to do is arm the quadcopter by pushing both your sticks inwards and as you can see there quadcopter's ready to go so first thing first we're just going to bring it up a little bit and see how stable it is in gps mode so we've got the throttle there see the power there as we go just going to bring it up a bit and there you go Bring it nice and close. Also got a helicopter going above. So we'll let that uh, go first. So there you go. As you can see, it's in GPS mode, so very stable. You try to pull it, and it'll fight against you and hold a, a steady position. So um, we'll just give it a little light fly and bring it down a bit, and just go across the path. As you can see, very fast, very responsive. Take it up a bit, just to get, and take it right up for some elevation. As you can see, very fast. Bring it over this way a little bit, and there it is, high up there. And you can um, really, really stable. So it's up there, and um, as you can see, you can just let go with the remote control and um, it'll just hang there stable in the sky. So um, I'll bring it down and give it a bit of a fly around so you can see it in action and then uh, we'll bring it in. There you go, very, very stable. Let's bring it back down. Now, um, the best way, when you bring these down after flying up, the best way to get these things, instead of landing them on the ground where you um, run the risk of bouncing it, the best thing is to just basically flight to your hand like that and if you put your um, put finger down there on the throttle like that that will disarm the quadcopter so um, still flashing green there it's got the position all in GPS mode and that's all good so we've been flying that in GPS mode if you flick the switch down there that'll take you to Atty now um, you only want to fly in that mode when you've got a little bit more experience but uh, as you can see in this GPS mode if we arm the quadcopter again and just bring it up you can see you don't have to do a great lot so you've got the GPS steady in it that's fighting against it to hold it in a position and then you don't have to worry a great lot you can give it a quick acceleration up And equally, while it's up there, you can just hang loose with a remote control. Don't have to worry about it. It's going to hold its position really well and really good. So I'll bring it down. When you're bringing it down, you want to come down quite slow. As it can come down at a rapid speed.
But yeah, very stable cloud capture. Okay, bit of a fly and we'll bring it in. And we'll bring it in. So there you go, that's the DJI Phantom FC40 quadcopter. And um, as we demonstrated before, the best way to bring it in is to like that. And there you go, so that's the DJI Phantom FC40 quadcopter.